<laughs> Who are we, Doug? First of all, we want to say hey to everybody. I'm Douglas C. and McKenzie. Mr. Johnny Campbell here. We're the Pulsators, everybody. We're the Pulsators. How'd you guys come upon the name of the Pulsators? Oh, that was... Doug thought of that. Yeah, that was... We were out in, in our Pulse rehearsal studio. studio, and I'm thinking of groove, you know. So I'm looking around, and, and then there was this acoustic piano was open, and it's a pulsating bridge. I'm like, pulsating, that's grooving. Pulsators. Johnny approved, and, <coughs> and here we are. I categorize our music as you know, basically feel-good music and dancing music, you know, when people come to our shows and dance. And right. We're known for, you know, when you come to a Pulsator show, you have a good time. The California gumbo is what I've what I've. Was that what it was called? Yeah, California, California gumbo. gumbo. There you go, yeah, see? <laughs> Louisiana gumbo, California yeah, gumbo. Yeah, California gumbo. And when we first got together, starting going back to the, the roots of the band, so I put together a bunch of songs, and I called Doug and asked Doug if he wanted to jam. And, I started showing him some songs. That's how we built the band. The band started from that in 1989, and uh, by about 91 or so, we were gigging all over Sonoma County. I started playing drums when I was eight years old. Right on. I played drums all the time when I was a kid and drove, drove everybody crazy you know, around the house. <laughs> but you know, I, I decided that's what I wanted to do as, as a young person. My dad suggested clarinet, you know, and I played that for many years. And in sixth grade, they had acoustic guitar class. And I took my dad's vintage Gibson. Oh, what a sweet guitar that was. And I learned all the basics, you know, strumming chords and stuff like that. And I was lucky enough to have my oldest brother, Robert, and he took the name Fast Floyd, and um, he's the guy who turned me on to Chicago blues. And he's the guy who taught me how to listen to music. Listen, listen to the bass line there. Now listen to how the guitar and the bass are working together. And I, you know, I hadn't tuned into music like that before. And after he did that, I sort of listened to, you hear everything through a different like, set of glasses, so to speak. And, uh, you know, and, and you can't unhear that. And my dad was into jazz, and he liked the powerful beat, like yeah, something like "Give Me Some Lovin'" by Spencer Davis Group, or yeah, you know, uh, or it's you in know, your like face, "I Fought the Law yeah. and the Law" one by Bobby Fuller Four, anything like that would just catch catch my ear. Right like, on. I just really liked all that, and yeah. uh, as a young child, you know, as a kid, you know, and, you know, the Beatles, Ringo, and, and and all that stuff was really great. But then when Jimi Hendrix came along and Cream came along, I really loved them. The concert that really when I decided that I wanted to play music was when I went and saw the Rolling Stones at Winterland right on. in 1972. Right Winterland on. only held 4,500 people, and Stevie Wonder was the opening act. Good it God. was like the greatest <laughs> concert I've been to this day. Uh, and uh, anyway, that was the day I decided. I'd love Charlie Watts too, you know. And, and that was when I said, you know, I got to do that. Some of the our, the influences that I've met, Art Neville, you know, was, uh, we, we were lucky enough to meet Art Neville and. Uh, spend time with our art kind of took us under his wing and and was our mentor he passed away a few years ago but yeah art actually played on, the, on, on one of our CDs he played on like three songs yeah and uh, he put his name behind it yeah. what he did that's yeah. what that's what he told he said I'm gonna yeah. put my name behind yeah. it and, and it really he really did and you know we had no idea how what a what a powerhouse art was truthfully I mean yeah. he's a legendary musician art had a For lot sure. of good wisdom about, you know, yeah. sharing and working with people and, and trying to be a good person and, and, you know, like, you know, try and keep positive and yeah. all that kind of yeah. stuff. How I became a musician and, and how I became a singing drummer was quite by accident. You know, I really just like playing drums. Uh, and I was in a band as a teenager and, and the guitar player in the band said to every, everybody at the end of a rehearsal, said, pick out a song next week. You're gonna, gonna, when we rehearse, everybody's going to sing a song. And I said, what? Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> and uh, I picked out a song. I picked out a Bob Marley song. Right on. And uh, the first song I ever sang was called Burnin' and a Lootin' Tonight <laughs> by Bob Marley and the Wailers. Uh, but singing and playing drums, is, it, it can be difficult in some ways, but it's, I have to be kind of zen-like. I don't think about it. It's like when you drive a car with a clutch. Do you think about every time you push the clutch in and shift gears? You're just driving and you just kind of do it naturally. So the less I think about playing the drums and singing, the better it is. And when I just kind of do it and let it all happen, it's fine. When I try and th if I think too much, it gets a little complicated. So uh, it's a lot of fun to sing and it's a lot of fun to play drums, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I would probably. <laughs> 
I'd you you, you, you do an amazing job of it, Johnny. I'm always I'm always impressed. I'm, I'm up you, there Dave. trying to sing and play guitar, and I'm, it's got to be real basic for me to pull it off. And he's like, you know, hitting accents, and you know, uh, you well, know, you know. Again, like I don't try not to think about it. Too yeah, much. yeah. I, and I agree with that philosophy. Don't think, just do. And you know, that that's always what, works out better. That's what Keith Richards said. Keith Richards said, rock and roll shouldn't be thought about too much. You yeah. Know, or analyzed too yeah. much. But it's still impressive, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank we you. want to get him up front to, you know, to put on his little show, you know, like most singers do. But, but he's such a good drummer, we don't want to take him away from the drums, you know. Well, we've had a lot of good times together. You that's know, for so. sure. That's for sure. He, I, I do most of the lyric writing and the music writing, yeah. and, but the band helps me flesh out the songs. Yeah, and, that's what I think is special about it. John will come out with the lyrics and the outline of the song, but then we get to add our spice to it, you know. For sure. And, and uh, you know, all that's of That's why us. it's the pulsating. Exactly. That's how it becomes and, the pulsating. And, it, and it, it's, it's really fun. It's what I like about it the most is we all get to the gumbo, you know, put your own taste in there. I like that about Sonoma County. There are venues where you get national and international performers, but the, the local music scene here, what I like about it is it's really varied and it's really diverse. There's all kinds of different kinds of music. And deep talent. And, you, and A there's lot tons of, deep talent. of talent. Yeah. There's all kinds of places to play. And Sonoma County is full of music supporters and really without people that, that come to, the, the, to support the musicians, the musicians are nothing, you know? Uh, so there's a, it's a great community. The community really supports live music, and we're a testament to that. Like, we've been around here for like yeah. all these years. We, yeah. we couldn't keep playing if nobody came to see us. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, we really appreciate that, and yeah. that, that's what makes Sonoma County super special. Uh, I think. Yeah. I yeah. think we get sometimes more out of the out of playing live from pe from people than we give them. <laughs> it's, it's a very two, reciprocal. It's a two way street for sure, and, and and it's true. The more we give out, the more we get back. Really excited to be in, in, in Sonoma County in general because the music scene is, is just growing and ha having a website like Sonoma Grown Music <laughs> is what we really need because it, 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 it showcases how much talent is in, is in the county. Sonoma County, man, you never know what you're going to get and it usually is way more than you expect. We're in Bluestone Studios right now. This is where we recorded our latest record called Let's Play right over here. And uh, this is John Foray, our keyboard player's studio. You know, talk about Sonoma Grown. Everything's yep. Sonoma Grown right there here. There it is, yeah. It's all original music. Uh, you can Streaming find service. all our yeah. music on... Uh, iTunes, uh, Spotify, Pandora. Pandora. There's even a yeah, Pulsators you, channel on Pandora. You can even say, Alexa, play the Pulsators. We're on Amazon Music. Apple and Music, also, yeah. You, yeah, you can go to iTunes and uh, all that. You can find us at www.pulsators.com. Right. We're on yeah. Instagram. We still have some CDs. If you're old school folks out there wanted CDs, we can, we can get you one of those available at the shows. I'd like people to know that the Pulsators are, we feel it in our hearts and we want to have a good band, a really great band, and we don't, we don't take it lightly. We've spent a lot of time developing our music and when we go to the show, we have, it's, we have a good time. We're just there to have fun, but we spent years honing our craft and we've worked hard on that. And, and we want to give people their money's worth when they come to our show. Also, we're kind of like a family, you know, like we've been together a long time. I've been playing with this gentleman right here since 1989. Like, think about that. Like, yeah. We've been in Sonoma I, County <laughs> playing in clubs together. Yeah. Steady, too. We haven't taken a year off here or, you know, yeah, a couple it's... years off. We didn't do anything. <clears throat> Every year we've been playing gigs, yeah. you know, for, that's a long time, yeah. you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's a pretty for, long time. For, for a local band to be together that long, this is pretty amazing. Yeah. I like to say music is the best medicine. When you're, you know, feeling down or troubled or whatever, you can find a song to make you feel better. What I like about music is uh, it, it is medicine. It does make you feel better. And uh, I like the camaraderie of playing music with people. And I like playing music for people, bringing the community together. There's a lot of power in playing music. Like a friend of mine said, it was when a band gets going and you're playing, it's like you're all riding on this wave together. and. Uh, it's just, there's nothing like it. It keeps the blood flowing. It's really good, yeah. it's, good. it's very invigorating, and uh, it's really hard to explain uh, 
the, the, the joy that can be derived from playing music. Being able to like work with other musicians takes it to the ne another level, and be able to perform for people takes it to even another level, and that's really awesome. So, playing music is just a great thing to be able to do. Yeah, and one more thing that I love about music is the more you learn about music, the more you realize you don't know about music. It's it's mm -hmm. an endless. You know, you want you want something to challenge you. Music is right there, man. I'm telling you. I, the more I learn, I'm going. Oh my God, I got a lot to learn. <laughs> so Dougie is on guitar. I uh -huh. play drums and sing. And Mick Whittington, Mike Whittington, plays bass and sings. Then we have uh, John Ferre on keyboards. The horn section we have, which I think our horn section is really the, the finest horn section this side of the Petaluma River. <laughs> uh, we've got uh. Rick Clifford and. Glenn Sullivan on trumpet. Scott Gilroy's our sound man. I met Scott in eighth grade in Petaluma Junior High. And Scott's been, <laughs> Scott's been with me ever since from the day one in every band I've ever been in. Together we make up the Pulsators. We're gonna continue to play as long as we can. That's right. <laughs> and try to have a good time. Keep the party going, you know? Yep. Thanks for having us on tonight. And uh, on behalf of the Pulsators, we'd like to thank Sonoma Grown Music for all they're doing and bringing to the table and uh, keep up the good work, fellas. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great night. Take Let me two. start over. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>